18 years ago, two little girls captured the world's attention. Kendra and Malia Heron, conjoined twins, faced a life-changing surgery, but their story didn't end there. It was only the beginning. And this is what happened to them after they were separated. The hospital hallway was quiet, but tension filled the air inside the operating room. Dr. Rebecca Myers stood over two small bodies on the table, her hands steady as she picked up her tools. This wasn't just any surgery, but a chance to give two little girls separate lives. Kendra and Malia Heron, four-year-old twins, had been waiting for this moment their whole lives. Born stuck together at the tummy, sharing important body parts like a kidney and liver, they had already beaten the odds just by being alive. Now it was time to see if they could live apart. Months before the surgery, the twins, mom and dad, Aaron and Jake, found themselves at the center of an intense medical and ethical debate. Together with doctors and ethicists across the United States and Europe, they grappled with the complex question. Was it right to separate the twins? Aaron and Jake Heron sat through countless meetings, their hearts heavy with the weight of the decision before them. They listened as medical professionals presented conflicting opinions, each one carrying life-altering implications for their daughters. The memory of a doctor's cold advice to simply abort the pregnancy still sent chills down Aaron's spine. I remember one doctor telling us everything below their chest was just mush, Aaron recalled, her voice breaking. He said they didn't have the organs they needed to survive on their own outside of my womb. But amidst the uncertainty and fear, a moment changed everything for Aaron. During an MRI scan, she saw her daughter's faces up close for the first time. I fell in love instantly, she said, her eyes shining with tears. At that moment, I knew I would do anything to bring them into this world safely, even if it meant risking my own life. As the debate raged on, Aaron and Jake found strength in their faith and in each other. They spent long nights researching, praying, and imagining what separate lives could mean for Kendra and Malaya. The girls, blissfully unaware of the storm surrounding them, continued to grow and thrive against all odds. After months of deliberation, Aaron and Jake made their decision. They believed separation surgery offered the best chance for their daughters to live normal, independent lives. With unwavering resolve, they began preparing for the challenging journey ahead, holding on to hope and the love that had brought them this far. As Dr. Myers started the operation, the twins' mom and dad waited nervously in another room. They held hands tight, hoping and praying for their little girls to be okay. They're fighters, Jake whispered to Aaron. They've made it this far. Aaron nodded, clutching a teddy bear that belonged to the twins. She couldn't stop thinking about how much their lives were about to change. Back in the operating room, things got scary. One of the machines started beeping really loud. Malia's heart is beating too fast, a nurse called out. Dr. Myers knew they had to work faster to save both girls, but she was not going to fail. She owed it to these sisters who had beat all the odds to be there today. Outside the hospital, news people with big cameras waited to hear what would happen. Everyone wanted the twins to be okay. After many long hours, Dr. Myers finally came out to talk to Aaron and Jake. She looked very tired but had a big smile on her face. Your girls are separated and doing well, she said. Aaron and Jake hugged each other, crying happy tears. Their dream had come true. Kendra and Malia were now two separate little girls, each with one leg. After six weeks at the hospital, they returned home. The recovery process was intense, with bandages needing to be changed three times a week, a job that took two hours for each child. Despite the challenges, the family remained determined and optimistic. But there were still challenges ahead. Malia's recovery was particularly complex. In addition to the intense bandage-changing routine, she needed a new kidney because the one she shared with Kendra stayed with her sister after the operation. Malia was forced to undergo dialysis until their mom, Erin, decided to give one of her own kidneys. I'd do anything for my girls, she said bravely. Malia also required extra nutrition through a feeding tube to ensure her body was getting the sustenance it needed to heal properly. Three times a week, she underwent dialysis treatments to prepare her body for the upcoming kidney transplant. These sessions were grueling for the young girl, but she faced them with remarkable bravery. Aaron and Jake took turns accompanying her, offering comfort and encouragement throughout each procedure. Despite the difficult schedule and the physical toll of the treatments, Malia's spirit remained strong. The kidney transplant was another complex procedure. Doctors spent hours connecting the donated kidney to Malia's blood vessels and urinary system, hoping it would give her a new lease on life. After the transplant, the little fighter stayed in the hospital for over a week. The medical team kept a constant vigil, checking her vital signs, urine output, and blood tests to ensure the new kidney was functioning properly. They watched for any signs of infection or rejection, always ready to act if needed. 
As Malia's condition stabilized and she showed signs of recovery, the medical team began preparing for her release. They taught Erin and Jake how to care for their daughter's new kidney, explaining the importance of medications, diet, and regular checkups. Finally, the day came for them to go home. It was a joyous but nerve-wracking moment for the family. They left the hospital armed with medication schedules, dietary guidelines, and a calendar full of follow-up appointments. But this was just the start of a new adventure for the Heron family. The twins had to learn how to do everything differently now that they weren't stuck together anymore. At first, it was hard. Kendra and Malia were used to always being close to each other. Now they had to learn to sleep in separate beds and do things on their own. Sometimes they'd get scared and cry for each other in the night. Aaron and Jake worked hard to help their daughters adjust. They'd read them stories, sing songs, and remind them that even though they weren't physically connected anymore, they were still sisters who loved each other very much. As the twins grew older, their medical journey continued. Every six months, Kendra and Malia underwent surgeries to straighten their spines, a necessary procedure to ensure their bodies could grow properly. These operations were challenging, but the girls faced them with remarkable courage. Daily physical therapy became crucial to their routine, helping them build strength and improve mobility. The twins worked tirelessly, pushing through the pain and fatigue, always encouraging each other along the way. A new chapter began as they started learning how to use crutches and prosthetic limbs. It was a slow and sometimes frustrating process, but Kendra and Malia approached it with determination and humor. They'd often make games out of their therapy sessions, turning challenges into friendly competitions. Their progress was inspiring. With each passing day, the girls gained more independence, their confidence growing alongside their physical abilities. As the twins got stronger, they started discovering new things they could do. Kendra loved being able to roll over in bed without worrying about hurting her sister. Malia was excited to give big hugs to her mom and dad all by herself. While all this was happening, the twins' older sister, Courtney, was trying to figure out her place in the family. She loved her little sisters, but sometimes felt left out with all the attention they got. Jake noticed this and started spending extra time with Courtney, taking her fishing and helping her with her homework. However, the twins faced new challenges. Going to school was exciting, but also scary. Some kids were really nice and wanted to be friends. Others weren't so kind, and sometimes said mean things about how the twins looked or walked. Kendra and Malia learned to stick up for each other. If someone was mean to Malia, Kendra would tell them to stop. If Kendra was feeling sad, Malia would tell her a funny joke to make her laugh. Soon, the other kids started to see past the twins' differences and got to know them as just Kendra and Malia two fun, kind girls who happened to have an amazing story. As they grew, the twins started to like different things. Kendra discovered she loved to draw and paint. She'd spend hours making beautiful pictures of flowers and animals. Malia fell in love with music and learned to play the guitar, even though it was tricky with just one hand. Their little brothers, Austin and Justin, who were born after the twins were separated, thought their big sisters were the coolest. They'd beg Kendra to draw pictures for them and dance around while Malia played songs on her guitar. But it wasn't always easy. The twins still had to go to the doctor a lot for checkups and sometimes more operations. Each time they went back to the hospital, it brought back memories of the big surgery that separated them. One day, Malia got really sick. Her body was having trouble with the kidney their mom had given her. She was admitted to the hospital and stayed there for a long time. Kendra was scared for her sister and missed her terribly. During this tough time, Courtney stepped up to help. She'd visit Malia in the hospital, bringing her favorite books and telling her funny stories about what was happening at school. She also helped take care of Austin and Justin at home, giving her parents more time to be with Malia. Finally, after weeks of worry, Malia got better. When she came home from the hospital, the whole family threw a big party to celebrate. They ate cake, played games, and just enjoyed being together. As the years passed, Kendra and Malia kept facing challenges, but their strength and bond grew stronger. They entered their teenage years with a mix of typical adolescent concerns and unique medical needs. Regular checkups and occasional procedures became a normal part of life, but they didn't let these things define who they were. High school brought academic pressures and social hurdles. The girls often found themselves explaining their history to curious classmates, sometimes growing tired of being seen as medical marvels rather than just normal teens. Now. 18 years after their groundbreaking separation surgery, Kendra and Malia have grown into inspiring young women. Kendra's passion for art blossomed into a talent for digital design. She started creating logos for local businesses and even designed the cover for the school yearbook. 
Malia's love for music led her to join the school choir, where her unique voice and determination inspired her classmates. The twins' journey also impacted their family in unexpected ways. Jake, their father, became an advocate for families facing similar medical challenges. He started a monthly support group at the local community center, offering guidance and a listening ear to parents navigating complex medical decisions for their children. Their mother, Erin, their big sister, Courtney, and their little brothers, Austin and Justin, are still their biggest fans and will love and cherish them forever. So what do you think about Kendra and Malia's amazing journey? Have you ever had to overcome a big challenge in your life? How did you do it? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep believing in yourself.